Mr. Investalot, today we're going to be discussing the rumors surrounding bio nanogenomics. Will they get a government contract? As you can see, it's a green day in pre market, and I've got my green shirt on, baby. That means money. As you guys may know, in the last video I covered, I showed you that there may be another sort of symposium event on. This one is in England and it's one of the largest UK events on genomics and biodata. So, this is the Festival of Genomics and Biodata, January 26th to 29th. This could be one of the reasons why the stock is up in pre-market value. People are bullish on it. And actually, uh, BioNanoGenomics is one of the sponsors. They're not one of the keynote partners, but they are one of the agenda partners. So we can see them here. Hello. So we are going to discuss whether this Sapphire machine over here um, will be used in diagnosis and genetic factor testing. Is there any predispositions in our genes which makes us more likely to contract COVID and potentially die from COVID? Will a government contract be likely? We will look into a few historical moments for BioNanoGenomics and look at previous federal government contracts, grants and funding. So guys, I just wanted to show you, I previously bought bingo stock at around about $2.60 range and I sold out at $4.83 range, but there may be some more room for growth with this stock. For those of you that are new around here, my name is Miguel. I'm not a financial advisor. I'm a retail investor here in London and I look for the juiciest stocks. I look for 20x, 30x, 50x stocks and bio nanogenomics is one of the stocks that intrigues me. Just remember this for entertainment only and I hope you find so much value and entertainment in this video. If you guys are able to support my channel, you can click the join button just above my head here. It's only 99 cents a month and just know you'll be helping me create great content. All I do is sit here all day researching and I really appreciate it. But if you're unable to join my channel as a member, just know that you liking this video and clicking subscribe is enough for me. Thank you so much and I appreciate you. I love you all. Okay, let's get down and dirty into the research, baby. So as you may already know, Biden is requesting 450 billion dollars from congress to ramp up the country's covid19 response some of this money could go to testing contact tracing and genomic sequencing and other efforts to fight covid19 oh baby that smells like money so this is straight up content here sometimes to solve a puzzle you have to go backwards and see your previous steps in order to figure it out and it's the same with the past and sometimes the future Sometimes you have to go into the past of bio nanogenomics to figure out will these guys be likely to get a government contract. So that's exactly what I did. I went into the past of bio nanogenomics incorporated and we were looking at their funding since inception. So this is to do with, you know, federal uh, contracts, federal grants and federal grant sub awards. So you can see here from 2006, they didn't get nothing. But then 2007, they got 2.3 million. 2008, 2.1 million. They got a big juicy 3.8 million dollars in 2009. And they were getting, you know, some of these federal grant awards. And I don't know a lot about politics. So I had to go back in time and see, you know, was Obama the president during that reign? And I can see here that he came in to reign in 2008, baby. So obviously that's Democratic Party, right? And then during Trump's reign, it looks like there was lower amounts of federal contracts, federal grants awarded um, during these kind of time periods. Does this mean in the future that they'll be able to get money from Biden towards this? So Biden has said that he wants to put some money into, you know, genomic sequencing. But just remember, the past doesn't guarantee the future. So although this is a nice indication that, wow, you know what? They can get federal government grants. They can get federal government contracts. It's not for certain. But it's nice to know that during previous years with democratic parties, they have managed to get a little slice of that cake. And I think in terms of timing as well, you can see the ARK investors heavily loaded up into genomics, testing, sequencing. They're also looking at gene editing. So I think that the time is right now and the future is here. And now people are finally beginning to see, you know what, we can cut out and solve problems before they even turn up. So I think we're going to start to see a lot more funding going into, you know, genomics and people are starting to realize that, hey, hang on a minute, this could be the future of healthcare. So in terms of the way that bio nanogenomics is doing their marketing, they're always updating every single research and study. They're publishing it here and people are reacting to it pretty fast within 16 minutes. You know, you know, just 16 minutes ago, they've updated their Twitter and they were talking about how using their sapphire machine they're able to eliminate you know all of this multi-week process and then get you results in just four days and here with professionals using the sapphire machine and seeing that it can actually find biomarkers in the structural variants seeing whether or not we're likely to get covid which one of us are, are likely to get covid based on this genetic test and genetic predisposition then that means they could be potentially very useful then that means that this machine could be extremely useful to us in actually finding out whether or not we'll be susceptible to COVID-19. And so why wouldn't Biden put some money behind this? Back in December as well, there were analysts saying that, you know, this year, 2021 is the year that bio nanogenomics is set to execute. And back then when they were talking about price targets, we've absolutely blown this out the water. 
They were saying that the average price target stands at $1.42, but we already hit over $9. That being said, we need to make sure that we get the right sales in place, the right sales process, more consumables being sold to all of these genetic cytogenetic labs because we need to keep the sales process going. There could be a potential huge upside to this stock and loads of people have thrown out some numbers there because of what it can do for humankind. If you're able to diagnose disease before it even happens, this is insane. But at the same time, while there's a lot of upside, there could be also a lot of downside. So just make this in mind that we've had a crazy run up from 25 cents all the way up to $9.50. This could go, you know, to the moon or this could come crashing down. You just have to see. And there will always be drawbacks, I think, certain drawbacks, and there will always be catalysts that could potentially boost the stock. One of the catalysts being this event that I showed you in the last video, this recent event where uh, BioNanoGenomics has put nothing on their website about being involved in any events, but we can see them here as one of the agenda partners, BioNanoGenomics. So what we got to do is look out for this date as well and see whether or not this also affects the way the stock price goes. I think if some presenters are presenting their latest research using this machine, it could make people even more bullish and it could also get institutional investors to load up even more. So make sure you watch where the big money is going as well. We can see that a lot of uh, institutional owners are actually increasing their positions in the bingo stock. One of those big boys being the Vanguard group. And I know these guys got a lot of money to burn so they can afford to put a bit of risk on some certain stocks but they've increased their position by almost 1,500%. So guys, what's the likelihood of us getting one of these federal government contracts or grants? Let me know in the comments below. Hit me up and just let me know if you know any more research, any more information surrounding this rumor. And for those of you that are still in the stock, I wish you all the best, man. I hope you get some really juicy gains. Could this be like PacBio? Could this fly up into the $25, $30 range? I don't know. I can't give you a price prediction. I've already entered and exited the stock, but I may invest for the long run still. Also, some interesting facts for you to know is BioNanoGenomics was originally founded as BioNanoMatrix. So this was their original name, BioNanoMatrix. And to talk also about um, collaboration and government grants that they won, they won $8 million in 2007 with collaboration, in a collaboration with Complete Genomics for the research into nanoscale sequencing. As you can see here, this is one of the Business Wire articles showing that BioNanoMatrix completes its name change to BioNanoGenomics. I also wanted to show you guys the COVID rates that are currently rising. So remember, the genomic revolution is here. So we have this festival of genomics and biodata popping up in the UK. Will we be seeing government contracts from the UK for bio nanogenomics too? Because right now the COVID rates are super high in London. You can see here we've got 584,000 people as uh, identified as COVID-19 cases in London. So a lot of uh, ethnic minorities, including Filipino nurses and African nurses, have also contracted COVID and some have actually died from COVID. It's quite a few actually. So guys, what's interesting to note as well is when they say genetic predispositions, they were actually checking my risk as well for COVID. And it's uh, to do with lots of factors uh, to do with even age, your gender. If you're male, you're more likely to catch coronavirus. And the same with um, your ethnicity. So they were saying people with uh, Asian and African descent are more likely to get COVID and are more likely to die from COVID too. As well as other factors such as diabetes and um, all of this other stuff. With London cases piling up at all time highs. And this UK genomic festival happening, will BioNanoGenomics actually get a little bit of funding from this government too in the UK? So these guys have a history of winning government funding. Will we be seeing some Biden money? Let me know in the comments below. I love you guys very much. Thank you for supporting me. Please hit me up with a like, subscribe. And if you have 99 cents a month that you would love to support me with, just click the join button. Much love, Mr. Investalot. Over and out, baby.